has a right to be themselves in those spaces instead of having to say, you know what, I better comply or else I'm going to get X, Y, and Z and have to live and carry that trauma uh, along with that. The question I would have for you specifically around this topic is, what do you think the risks are to corporate spaces if these types of communities are not offered, fostered, and these resources are not made available like in the short term? Turnover. Turnover. Turnover, lawsuits. Um, people are going to start leaving. I think one thing that COVID did very well was put some things into perspective for a lot of people. There was a surge in entrepreneurship. Um, there was a surge in in that, and it was the birth of quiet quitting, where people who were not happy decided, okay, I'm I'm not doing the above and beyond anymore. You're going to get exactly what my job description says while I work on another plan to get out of here. So when you're looking at what what happens to corporate spaces when those needs aren't met. And when um, people really realize that they don't, I don't, I don't need you. You know what I mean? They, they've they gone into spaces of, I don't need this. I don't need to put up with this. I'm not going to do this anymore. And they go and they're, they find their way. They leave and they find their way and it leaves HR and senior management teams completely confused. I've seen To learn more about virtual lighting services, visit www.ourdiverseperspectives.com. Sign up for your evaluation today.